Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, awesome day or evening, depending on the time you're watching this. Today, I'm gonna be doing a eye look for you using a palette I recently received in my FabFitFun subscription. If you guys are interested in seeing what else came in the box, I will be linking that video right up above as well as in the description box. But the palette I am talking about is the Pure Be Your Selfie Palette. This was one of three options that I could choose from in my FabFitFun for winter season box. And I chose this because I am a sucker for a palette. I love makeup and this looked like a great palette. used Pure Cosmetics in the past. I've used um, a couple of their palettes and I really do like the quality. So I was excited when I saw that this was an option and let me show you the inside of the palette. So this is what the palette looks like. It's a really beautiful palette. I love the tones and the color in this palette. I feel like these are very, very wearable shades. The one thing that I do not like about this palette is I'm noticing that this is the lightest shade here. It's called Pure. And it's just not light enough for me to do like a brow bone highlight. So I'm also gonna pull a color out of my Too Faced Dream Queen palette. I've also done a video on this, which I'll link up above if you wanna see swatches of this entire palette. But I'm gonna get right into this look. I'm excited to show you a great eye look that I think is gonna be a great winter fall eye. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna start with this color here, the lightest shade. I'm gonna use that as a transition shade and kind of lay it down as a base so I can build on top with the darker, deeper colors. So I have used Pure, like I said, in the past. I do own a few of Pure palettes. And the one thing I can say about their palettes is that the formula is really good. You do get a ton of color payoff with their formulation. Um, so I was excited when I saw this as a selection because I do enjoy the quality. I feel like you don't have to struggle to get some color intensity and color payoff on the eye using their products. So now I want to go into this color here. This is called Strong, and I'm going to use this starting from my crease and working my way up to kind of build out more of a deeper transition over the top of this pure color. And these shadows blend out really, really lovely. I'm loving the formula on these. They're so easy to work with. Um, and I'm just taking that up. I'm swiping side to side and blending it out to the top. I'm not going too high. I'm going about three quarters of the way up to my brows. And I'm going to go ahead and clean this up later because that does look like a harsh line. But we're going to buff that out even more with the lighter color that I'm going to pull out of my Dream Queen palette. So now that I've laid that color down, I wanna go in and I want to deepen out my crease just a little bit. And what I'm gonna to use to do that is I'm gonna use this color here called Fabulous. And it's a really pretty cranberry burgundy maroon red. And I love colors like this for the holiday season especially. I just love like a really good cranberry eye. And I'm gonna use this Luxie 131 Mini Angle Brush to do that. I ended up getting this in my BoxyCharm last month and I've tried Luxie brushes before, I really like them. I love this little eye set that they sent in November's box. It included four eye brushes and like more of like the smaller detail brushes. Now I have very small lids and hooded eyes. So for me, I like a small brush when I want to get into my crease. So I am gonna use this brush to build out that crease color. Now one thing that I'm noticing, you guys, is that I am experiencing quite a bit of fallout. I haven't had that problem in the past when I've used Pure Brand Makeup, so I don't know if this is like a different formulation or what's going on with this palette, but that's actually why I like to bake before doing my eye makeup, um, because when I bake, it kind of gives a barrier on my cheek, so if I do experience any fallout, I can just dust it away with the bake and it doesn't adhere to my foundation. 
So now I want to deepen out that crease even more and add a little bit more intensity and depth to my crease. And I'm gonna do that using this color here called Confident. Now we're really getting that deeper crease color that I was wanting. So do you guys see that fallout here? So that is not an issue for me because like I said, I do bake beforehand, but I am experiencing quite a bit of fallout, especially with these shimmer shades. Um, so for me, that's not a big issue because I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that away. And you'll see at the end when I do that, how easy it is to dust that away without it actually leaving any marks or streaks on your face. So now I'm gonna do my lid color and I'm gonna use this color here. It is a really pretty shimmer shade. Um, it is called Alluring, that's the name of the color. And it's like a rose gold, but a little bit more on the mauve side. And I'm taking my finger and I'm just patting it right onto my lid. And the reason why I like to do that, especially with lid colors, is because that's where I really want the most intensity, especially if I'm working with a metallic or a foil shade. And when you use your finger, your finger ends up kind of heating up the product and melting it down a little bit. And just it makes it easier to work it onto the lid. And building that color intensity is much easier when you're using your finger rather than a brush. So now that I have done that, I want to go in and add a little dimension and a pop of brightness in my inside corner. And I'm going to use the color Charming. That's this color here. And I am gonna use a brush for this. I'm gonna use a small detail brush. The reason why I'm not using my finger for that particular part of the lid is because I have very, very small lids, especially on this inside corner. And I just don't have small enough fingers, even though my hands are pretty petite. I don't have small enough fingers to really get in um, to this area. So I'm gonna use the Luxie one for one mini round brush. This is another brush that came in the set that I got in my BoxyCharm. And I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna pick up the color and I'm gonna lay it down right in that inside corner and then I'm gonna sweep a little bit up from that corner just a tad bit to kind of bring some lightness back into this hooded lid area. Do you see the difference? So from this eye to this eye, I laid the inside highlight right here. This eye looks a little bit darker. It almost looks like I have a shadow cast here. So when you do that inside corner highlight, it really does add some lightness back into your eye and it avoids that shadow look that kind of makes you look like you have almost like um, dark circles, but dark circles starting here rather than underneath your eye. So now that that is done, I am going to go ahead and add some color to my bottom lash line. I wanna smoke them out a little bit using that color Fabulous again. And then I'm gonna go in on top of that cranberry color. I'm gonna add like the taupey kind of smoke bronze look using this color here. This is called Gorgeous and it is a very, very gorgeous taupey brown color. So when I'm doing this, you guys, as you can see, I'm kind of connecting that bottom line from where I started the color on my outside corner. I'm connecting it to my bottom lash line. So it adds a little bit more shape and dimension to the bottom of your eye. And it also helps to pull your eye up. I never bring my eyeshadow further than um, the line where my lower lash line connects to my brow. So as you can see, it kind of angles up. I'm also gonna go in and, and clean that up even more and bring that line up, but that's gonna help lift your eyes. It's also gonna give you like more of a cat eye look. Um, and especially for folks like me with smaller eyes and they, they are a little bit more hooded, I don't wanna bring my eyes down. I wanna bring my eyes up. I wanna look like I have like a little mini face lift or eye lift. So now I'm gonna lay that color gorgeous right on top of that cranberry shade because I feel like taupey browns and metallic bronze colors really add that twinkle to your eye and just make your eyes stand out. 
Okay, so now I want to go in and I'm going to buff the color line that you see here. I am going to blend that out and add some brow bone highlight, which is going to really bring my eyes up again. Everything is about focusing the attention on the eyes in an upward motion, not a downward motion. And because I'm at the age where I'm fighting the aging process, I want the appearance of my eyes to go up like I'm awake, like I'm fresh, and like I'm a little bit more youthful. And the color I'm gonna use underneath my brow bone is this color here. Again, this is the Too Faced Dream Queen palette, and this is called Snowball Effect. So I'm setting it right underneath my brow bone, being very careful not to get too much product on my brow because they're already done. And then I'm dusting it and pulling the top line of that shadow I'm just dusting it and pulling it so that it blends and it's not a harsh line. So I am now going to dust away the bake. I think I'm definitely done. I've been baking for a very long time now. And you will see as I dust it away that this fallout disappears and doesn't present any issue with adhering to my foundation at all. Now I want to add just a little bit more of some lightness here. I feel like I got a little bit too much of the darker product um, right here in my inside corner and it's making me look like I've missed some sleep. So I am going to go in and clean that up a little bit. I think I want to use again that color snowball effect to add some lightness back into the inside corner. Step for the eyes is mascara and I am going to be using the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I have not tried this yet. I'm definitely interested to see how this performs and to see if it is at all clumpy or if it really does a good job of lengthening and adding volume which is what I look for in a mascara. Yeah, I really like this mascara. It is not at all clumping it's not um it's not grabbing too many of my lashes and you know clinging them together it is doing a really nice job of keeping my lashes nice and separated but still adding that volume and that length so i am impressed so far with this mascara but look at the difference you guys like this side looks like i'm actually wearing lash strips so I really, really like this mascara. Okay, this just might be a new favorite for me, honestly. This mascara is doing such a good job of lengthening and I am not having any issues with when I'm going in to add several other layers on top. I'm not having any issues with clumping or um, my lashes sticking together. Some mascaras will pull like all of your lashes if you go in for a second or third coat and it'll pull like four or five lashes into one big clump, which I do not like the look of that at all, at least for me. So I am really enjoying how this is going on and it's keeping my lashes nice and separate and it is just doing a bang out job. I'm loving this right now. We're almost at the end, you guys. I am gonna go in and add a little bit of highlight onto my cheekbones. Um, what girl doesn't like a good highlight? And I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Jewel Collection Jelly Highlighter in Monumental. I picked up all three colors that came in this collection and I absolutely love this stuff. It is such a good highlighter and it doesn't pull or tug your finished makeup after you apply it. It is just so good, so blendable. And this stuff you can really, really get like a super high beam blinged out highlight. That's what it looks like. It does not budge out of the container. I am holding it completely upside down. It is not a liquid, but it is truly a jelly highlight. And what I like to do is I like to pull a little bit on the tip of my finger and I like to warm the product up between two of my fingers like so. And I might even take it to a couple of my fingers like that. And I'm just gonna pat it right on the top portion of my 
cheeks, right where the top of my, um, the apples of my cheeks are. And I don't wanna pull it too high, like underneath my eyes, because I don't want to enhance any lines or texture that I have underneath my eyes. So I am going to kind of keep like about a half of a fingertip distance between my cheeks and my eyes when applying this. I wanna add just a little bit more. This product is so good, you guys. You can really build it up and add so much intensity so easily with this. Can you see that? Whoa, it is just beautiful. Ooh, yes. And it blends so nicely, you guys. It doesn't have like bit, any big particles of glitter in it at all. It really is a beautiful, like dewy sheen of highlight. I absolutely love this stuff. I'm gonna add a little bit on the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose as well. And on my Cupid's bow, what do they call this? The glitter stash, right? The last step is the lips, and I'm gonna be using my favorite, favorite, all-time favorite liquid lipstick. I rave about this stuff. It is literally the best formulation of a liquid lipstick I've personally ever used, and it is the Maybelline um, Super Stay Matte Ink Lipstick. Um, this is in the color Fighter. Stay tuned because I have about 15 or 16 colors that I'm gonna be swatching in the next couple of days. So that video will be uploaded sometime at the start or midpoint of next week. So if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now, hit the bell for notifications, so you'll be able to see this video as well as many more makeup tutorials, unboxing videos that are coming very, very soon. And I'm gonna be using the lip liner from LA Girl, and this is their Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner. And this is in the color, I'm not sure. Where is the color? Is it being hidden? I'm not sure. Anyways, this is what it looks like here. It might be underneath this um, plastic part. But anyhow, this is it. This lip liner too is another amazing drugstore product. I bought basically all the colors that they had available and I'm loving how creamy and easy this is to apply and it stays for a very, very long time. Now I do wanna add one last element to my eyes and I'm gonna use the Stila um, Glitter and Glow Highlighter in um, Painted Lady. I wanna add just a little bit more kind of shine to my lids, so I'm going to add this on top of the eyeshadow. Okay, you guys, so this completes the look. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have lots of videos coming to you guys soon. I'm uploading basically like once or twice a week. Um, so if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you guys so, so much, and I wish you guys all a blessed rest of your day. Mwah.